Hi everyone, thanks so much for the opportunity to speak today around my experience of the UDL badge open course, which I undertook last semester, along with several other colleagues from across the Institute. And this one was the national rollout of the UDL badge, coordinated by Ahead Ireland, UCD and the National Forum. I kept kind of a diary blog of what I did, and I just want to highlight some key things, but I'm happy to meet with anyone if they feel uh, aspects might, might support them on their journey. I found some key features were, were kind of really resonating. And it was this kind of idea here that we would design interactions, learning interactions, but try to reduce barriers and create more opportunities to engage. So in place, embracing learning diversity, reaching and teaching everyone, and realizing that enhancing accessibility and UDL is everyone's business. And this really kind of, this you know, the, these points really hit home with me, the idea of implementing an inclusive educational experience for all. So it's the kind of what more could help uh, mindset and clicking into that mindset and momentum is very effective. I think if you ask me about one mindset change I had, it was really around the think plus one, this plus one approach. It's a great video on the Ahead YouTube channel by Tom Tobin. It's that, you know, you're adding layers of enhancement all the time onto what you do. And having that, I think, is, is a really propelling way to enhance year on year, module by module, week by week, whatever you want it to be. And I think another aspect really was nothing about us without us. And I think taking that approach into everything that we do is the most beneficial way to kind of think of things. Another uh, concept that really was pushed home a lot was that there's no such thing as an average student. And that's something that can really help your mindset when you're considering UDL. So we are we're guided by the UDL guidelines, which were developed by CAST. And I think that's something if you want to look up, it's very effective to realize you probably teach to some of these already. But effectively, Dr. Katie Novak's ice cream truck analogy, the idea that, you know, we can't just offer things in one way. We can't just have one thing to offer. We have to have different things um, with this ice cream truck. Everyone that comes up has an equal opportunity to have something. And we need to do the same in our classrooms and our institutions. So I um, once I had kind of those in mind, I worked towards a redesign activity. So my redesign activity was effectively uh, designed by, by my students because um, I asked them, how could I support them more? And when I asked them an anonymous mentee poll, how could I support them more with my teaching? There were a few different aspects which were really helpful, but one of them was more accessible notes. And this was on my really uh, plus one kind of goals anyway. And I really wanted to start doing that. But this really kickstarted the process a bit more. So from a student experience point of view, I tried to work with what might enhance their experience. And I looked at then if I'm providing notes and content and resources, how could I make them more resource, um, more UDL friendly? or better resources? How could I remove barriers and promote engagement? So I looked at PowerPoint particularly. Now, there were other things I was doing around modes of engagement, opinions and feedback. But my primary focus, as I've mentioned here, was the accessibility of my own kind of notes and handouts. So I did a lot of work on how, how I could re research, I guess, on how I could do this. But effectively, I went through every single slide one by one, making tweaks and changes. And I'll explain what I did in a few moments. I added alter, alter, alternative text to every single image. And then I was recording audio summaries and text transcripts of those audio summaries, providing those maybe for international students to translate. And then I also was looking at the contrast for any kind of background color. I was using contrast checkers to make sure the content was more accessible. Um, and this all included, say, fonts and different uh, aspects. But I tried to, the key takeaway, I guess, this point here, I, on the left, describe what I've done with each of these aspects. But on the right, I tried to make an infograph to kind of summarize those around how to make your PowerPoints a little bit more accessible. So that infograph, you can download um, a PDF of it if you want, but it's a, um, it's a concise way. So I found that, that very effective, but obviously I wanted to come back to the students. And that's where I went and I did an evaluation with the students around what they felt. It's so key because it lets them know that they can empower change in higher education, that they gave suggestions that were acted on. I had some other nice resources. So, for example, attending a CAST webinar, they talked about a plus one approach and having these worksheets. And they're really effective in kind of realizing what you might do, say, next semester or the semester after and adding that plus one approach into your practice. And then some other helpful resources that I had come across, the contrast checker or the National Forum's persona generator. Uh, but I hope that you've got something maybe to realize that we can really empower change, but that the UDL mindset and the UDL implementation of the framework can support everyone. And as I mentioned often, it's it's win-win for everybody involved.
So thanks once more for giving me the opportunity to speak today.